Right, so the full time score Ashton Gate is Bristol City nil, Swansea City nil. Um, so we're here with our match reaction. Um, we're going to give you our thoughts. We're going to rate each player out of ten for us, and also give a man of the match. So, um, I think I think it was quite a tough game for us because obviously Ashton Gate's a very hard place to go. Um, I think it could have gone either way. Uh, it was a very even match. I think it was we had fifteen shots in the end, and they had nine, both two on target each. So it could have gone either way, but. A point's good when you go to a place like Ashton Gate, but I do think it's also a missed opportunity because we had a few chances which we could have scored later on. Andre Ayew had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity which he missed. Joe Roden had a header which he missed. So there's a few chances which we could have taken which could have gave us all three points. But as I've said, a one-on draw isn't bad at all. Gained a point, we're still second in the league. So um, that's always a positive. And keeping a clean sheet against a tough side like Bristol's really good. Yeah. So, what do you think? Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty um, average performance from us today, to be honest. Um, as you said, we, um, Ashton Gate is a hard place to go, and that we did have many chances. But also, Bristol had so many chances to score as well, so... I mean, it was quite an even game. Uh, obviously, quite disappointed with the result, um, as we could have gone top, because Leeds due to Derby. Um, but yeah, overall an average performance, and um, yeah, roll on to Reading now. Yeah, um, so um, <coughs> I will rate each player out of 10 for us, starting with the keeper, so I'll say it and then Luke will say his then. So Woodman, um, he didn't have too much to do, but when he did, he did the basics well, so I'll give him a 7 out of 10. Yeah, I'll give him a 7 as well. Right back, uh, Norton, I thought he did, he did alright with a, um, for a replacement for Robert, so I'd give him a 7 as well. Yeah, yeah, I'd give him a 7 as well. I think he played um, decently well today. Um, left back was Bidwell. I think he was alright, but then he obviously got sent off at the end, 90, uh, in the 90th minute, for a foul on Eliasson. Um, but um, before that, um, I would have given him higher if he didn't get sent off. But because he gets sent off, I'm, I'm only giving him a 5 out of 10. What about you? Oh, I'm going to give him a 6 just to be a bit more respectful. Um... Yeah. Yeah, he did, he did decent in the first half, I thought, and then obviously got red card, but, you know, it's last minute, so... Yeah. Um, mm. And then, uh, centre-backs, Roden and Van der Horn. I'm going to give <coughs> Roden a 6 and Van der Horn a 7, because I thought they both played uh, really well at the back. Yeah, I think I'll give them both um, a 7 each. And then three in midfield. Uh, I think it was really good that he did this because then you had Ayu and Borja up front and Selina and Cam. But anyway, three in midfield. Um, Grimes, I'll give him an eight. Um, Fulton, I'm going to give him a six. And I'd also give Byers a six because I thought they both, they all three of them played really well, especially Grimes. Um, yeah, I gave um, Grimes an eight. And then Fulton and Byers can both have a seven because I thought our midfield was probably the best part of our team, to be honest with you. Yeah, and then Cam Selina, uh, he had a yeah. few set pieces, didn't have too much to do, but he had a few set pieces, unfortunately none of them created um, or leaded to anything, but I thought he played um, average, so I'd give him a 6 out of 10. Yeah, I think I'll give him a 5, because some of those um, chances that he created from the set pieces, I think he should have done a bit better with those. I know set pieces are hard, but I think he should have tried to... Um, try and provide them a bit better than what he did, so I'll give him a uh, six. Um, and then up front, Borgia and Ayu. Um, I'm going to give Ayu a seven, although he did uh, miss a few chances. He did a lot more than what Borgia did, and so I'm going to give Borgia a six and Ayu a seven. Um, I think um, I'll give them both a six because I don't think they both particularly played well today. Um, so yeah, I'll just give them both a six. And now onto the substitutes. Obviously, we only used two: Roberts and Surridge. Um, I'll give Surridge a five because he didn't really have much to do, and I'll give Roberts a four because he came on very late and didn't have enough time to impact the game. Yeah, I don't know if I can, I can give if I can give Roberts a rating to be honest. So. Um, yeah. No, I, I don't think I'll just give him a rating to be honest. Um, Surridge? But um, yeah, Surridge I think I'll probably give him um, a 4 because he didn't particularly do anything. So. 
Yeah. And now, man of the match. Um, I'd probably give it to Matt Grimes because I think he did um, pretty well in the midfield. Um, was strong. Um, created, made a few good passes. Created a few decent chances. Good corner deliveries as well. Uh, so Matt, my Matt, man of the match goes to Matt Grimes. Uh, yeah, um, my man of the match would be uh, Matt Grimes as well, because um, I think he dominated the midfield. Um, he definitely showed some great passion today, and um, I definitely think he made some key passes today. Um, and yeah, I think he played really well, so he's my man of the match as well. Yeah, so um, that's it for today, um, for our match reaction for Bristol. And our next video will be a preview for Watford in the Cup which will be out on Monday night, so thanks for watching. Sure.